How's it going guys? It's your boy Around Tall Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Another video, we're working on the blue XJ once again. And today we're gonna change the uh, shifter. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. There was no other video that was showing, uh, you know, how to replace the shifter on the XJ. I found one for like an old Jeep, which I think is about the same. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the center console first. Uh, I believe you have to remove the, these two Phillips screws here and then there's gonna be a couple more screws on there um and then that I believe, I believe that's basically yeah everything else is held up by like clips so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove it all right so I went ahead and I removed the two screws this part looks like it's ready to pop off I have to find a way to remove the uh, shift knob here so that the so that the arm can slide out of the boot um i'm not sure if i'm supposed to twist it i don't see any like allen any allen screws so do they do we just twist it for the pop-up or what you actually have to remove the little the little diagram is actually like a little button that goes here uh you can get uh, you can get, use a screwdriver to pry it out i kind of damaged the uh, surface here but it's not a problem i really don't care um so basically you're gonna have a 15 millimeter nut here that you have to remove and then the uh, knob should come right off so let's go ahead and do that some models have a, has a impact nut on the bottom here so you just want to pay attention for this one it was just that one single nut and now we should be able to slide the console out and remove this whole unit. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, almost got it out. There's uh, two things that you guys need to know when you're removing this. There's a bolt that screws onto this side right here, if you can kind of see it. And then there's another bolt that you have to, you honestly have to lift the boot out. And you can see it, there's another bolt right there. I don't know, let me see, if, if, right there. So make sure you take those two out because if you end up pulling it too hard, you end up snapping the plastic and they're gonna have a wobbly uh, center console. So make sure you get those two, to those two uh, Phillips screws out and then you should be able to pull it out. So the boot can come off just like that. Uh, and also keep in mind that when you remove the boot, there's a little C-clip here. You want to make sure uh, you don't lose it because that basically stops the boot from going all the way down. And... Alright guys, I got the uh, center console out. Now, if you look over here, it's pretty damn dirty. There's a lot of coins, so... A lot of quarters I actually found, so I guess uh, this is kind of rewarding. Um, so I'm just gonna... See a bunch of coins everywhere. I'm, I'm definitely going to clean this whole thing uh, before I, I reinstall everything. Alright, I removed the center console. Look how dirty it is. There were so much coins that was stacked up right here. And there's actually so much, there's a lot of coins in here. I don't think you can see it because it's kind of dark. There's a lot of coins in here. Now, I was having issues putting this on 4 high. So I'm thinking maybe the coins are kind of like blocking this from shifting down correctly. So I need to, I definitely need to remove the coins that are stuck in here because there's, a, there's like a lot of quarters in here. I need to find my bow instructor to remove that. But as, well I'll do it later. As of right now, we're gonna go ahead and remove this boo here so we can have access to the bolts down there. Um, so we have to remove all these little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was able to remove all the bolts for this uh, rubber boo. That honestly, this thing was a pain in the ass. Um, it was actually a, cell, a seven millimeter. In case you guys are wondering, um, just take your time with that because the bolts just once uh, the bolts are so easy to round off that uh, it is going to be a pain in the ass uh, to remove if it strips. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the four bolts that holds the shifter in place. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove that now. All 
all right guys we got the shifter out it was only four bolts um it was pretty simple the bolts wasn't even that tight um so in case you guys are wondering this is how the inside of the transmission looks like from up here do you want you want to go ahead and make sure nothing goes down there because it will cause transmission damage so i'm going to go ahead and just put like a shop towel on top so i make sure no debris gets in there there we go all right let's go take a look at the shift the bushing actually looks pretty pretty nice doesn't look too beat up but it is if you see how it's spinning it you kind of tell that it's spinning on its own due to gravity so it could be uh too loose all right so i'm gonna figure out how to take this off and install the new one the new one i have is right here this is, this is the new one right here with new bushing and everything so i'm gonna see how i can install this one well, i'm gonna have to remove the uh, housing somehow it doesn't look like it has bolts i'll figure it out and we're gonna go ahead and install the new one so i learned how to remove the uh, shifter from the shifter housing now this is my first time doing it so you know if you got if you guys find something incorrect let me know because this literally is my first time doing it because i never never loan uh i never owned a manual car where i need to change the shifter uh so this is a new one if you pay attention to a new one they have like this little notch here this is where these reta these retainer bolts um are are in, pl are in place to hold the shifter in place so it doesn't pop out while you're driving to remove this you're gonna put both thumbs here and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. I believe it's counterclockwise, let me see. Yeah, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. This is pretty hard because it's old and it has a lot of um, debris and corrosion. So I'm gonna find a different way. I might get a uh, chisel or a screwdriver and a hammer, kind of tap it the rest of the way. All right, guys, I was able to take it out using the uh, two thumb method. Um, it came out relatively easy. Now, if you look inside here, this is all beat up and grimy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. And before you put everything back together, you wanna make sure that you grease, grease the new one. Now, I read you're supposed to be using white lithium grease. Um, now, I need to figure out how to remove the this, this handle off the shifter itself. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers saying that they use some kind of uh, wedge like wedge or screwdriver to jam it in there and hit it with a hammer to unlock um, this one I'm gonna figure it out somehow but as of right now let me just clean the housing real quick I was able to remove the old shifter from its uh, from its handle now in, in case you guys are wondering how I removed that I basically just I let this dangle with one hand and with a hammer I was able to knock it loose just like this um, from hitting it from hitting the uh, the ring here I was just hitting it hitting it, hitting it and managed to uh, fall out now doing this method you are definitely gonna destroy this so if you're gonna plan on using this again which I doubt but if you are you're gonna find you need to figure out a different method my method definitely worked after like the fifth whack it came right off and the inside here still looks clean and new so I'm gonna reuse this now the thing is i'm i'm gonna have to go to napa because i'm gonna need this ring here now this ring is all cracked and shot it's pretty dangerous because i don't want none of this material to go inside the transmission itself so i need to get another uh, seal ring here for the housing and then we should be ready to install everything all right guys so i finally got the uh, bushing i need for the um for the shifter housing so this is the new one. I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can get this. This is honestly a really annoying piece or part to find um, on the internet. O'Reilly's, AutoZone, when I have this, you need to order it online only unless you go to the dealership. All right, look how beat up this old bushing is. The, gr the green, this green part, supposed to be all around, kind of like this blue one right here. It's supposed to be like this. But look what's left of it. This is honestly, I, I'm believing this is the reason why I was having problems shifting or, or is, this, is this bushing right here. So out with the old and with the new, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. This part, is, this part is just gonna sit down just like that in there. So we're just gonna 
push it in. All right, I got the uh, bushing in. What I recommend is actually heating up the bushing with like a heat gun and it will slide right in. The hardest part is passing this, these two pins right here, but it's, it's not that hard. Use a screwdriver to help you and just make sure that it's flush. Definitely want to make sure it's perfectly flush and it's not, it's not bending or uh, folded in any of the corners. And there we go. All right guys, in case you forget which side is the front, which side is the back, uh, this little thing right here, this thing uh, points towards the engine bay um, and this little this little manufacturer number or letter right here, it faces you. So we're gonna put this in like this because we want we want the uh, shifter to be to be leaning towards you because that's where you're gonna be shifting. So it's gonna go like this guys in case you guys are wondering because if you put it like this and you're gonna go ahead and try to put this in, you're gonna notice that you think it's facing the opposite direction. Even if this is correct like this, the, the housing will not sit correctly with the transmission. So make sure you have it like this, put the shifter like this, make sure it's pointed this way and you can't go wrong. I was able to get the shifter locked into place. Now, in case you guys are wondering how to do this, basically when you put the shifter on the housing, you're gonna press down on the uh, spring uh, on the on the ring spring and then you're just gonna turn it until it locks into place and it's hard to see on the camera but if you actually look in there you can see that the uh, pin is actually lined up on the on the correct um all the way at the end of the slot so you know it's locked in position also another way to test it out if you look at the housing may, there if you look at the the ring here the ring is a perfect circle there's two straight lines on this side and this side right here just make sure that the, uh, the, the straight lines are parallel to the housing right here. If you look at it, they look perfectly straight up. They look perfectly uh, parallel. That's how you know you got the ring all the way to the lock position. Now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna spray a little more of the white uh, lithium grease on it to make sure that the whole thing is lubricated because once it's going inside, um, we're not gonna take it out um, ever again until it fails again. So you spray it down. And then we can go ahead. I'm just using this. I'm just using this bag so the the bearing, the bushing down here doesn't uh, pick up any dirt. We're gonna go ahead and put this cut this rubber cover on, and then we can go ahead and install it into the transmission. All right. So I went ahead and I cleaned the surface. We're gonna go ahead and apply some red um, RTV to make a gasket around the perimeter here. Just make sure you don't get nothing, absolutely nothing inside the uh, the hole where the bushing goes for the transmission. Cause you don't want any of this stuff in there cause it, it will cause damage to your transmission. Once you got the RTV all around the perimeter, you can go ahead and install the housing now. As I, as I mentioned before, you wanna make sure this part is facing forward and that the shift handle is facing towards your direction. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure the bushing is straight. We're just gonna go ahead and lower it in. All right, when it's on the bolts, make sure you use a plenty of thread locker. Uh, because these bolts are abused by, by a lot of vibration from the transmission So you want to make sure that these bolts stay in their place and not loosen over time All right, so I got the rubber boot on and I also got the uh, shift arm in now I'm gonna go ahead and add all the screws to the boot and then we should be done with this part and then we can go ahead and start putting all the rest all right guys so i went ahead and i stopped the car i tested the shifter and it seems to be working um so i'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the uh, trim and the center console back and we're basically done so uh let me just do that real quick All right, so I got the center console back. I went ahead and also 
make sure that the air duct that runs through the center console is sitting correctly. I went ahead and installed the one bolt that goes here and also the one bolt that goes here. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put the coin box back and put the other two remaining screws. And also remember to put that bolt that goes to the center console here before you put the boot on. Uh, so we're almost done here, so I'm going to continue and I'll let you know when. Alright guys, so I got the boot back on, I got the shift nut back on. Don't forget to put that 15 millimeter nut on. Make sure this is nice and strong. Ahead. And I also put the two screws that goes here. And I went ahead and put the coin door back. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the trim that goes here. There's a little light. Uh, make sure there's a little wire with a little bulb that lights up this little trim here. Make sure that's gonna make sure that's in um, in place, and we're basically done on this side. All right, so we got the trim right here. There's a little slot right here for the light. We're gonna go ahead and put this light in here, and then we can just push this in. It's it's held up by clips, so a little pressure on both ends should get this locked into place. All right, so I installed the light. Just make sure that the wire is away from where the uh, with the shifter moves and travels because you don't want to uh, snag the cable and end up having a shortage. All right guys, I went ahead and installed all the bolts, all the nuts, everything looks all set. The only thing I'm missing is the little, um, the little cover that goes here. I'm gonna find it somewhere around this car and we're basically done. Let's just give it a good shake, make sure everything is in place and and make sure everything is um, aligned and you should be all set. Now this is a really easy job. The only thing I recommend is when you install the, sh the new shifter and you install the, ho the um, housing, just turn on the car, shift a little bit, make sure that the shifter is sitting correctly. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna list all the tools, all the products I use down in the description below to make it easier for you guys. And I'm definitely gonna work on a few more projects, a few more repairs on this car. I'm gonna get it ready for some off-roading this summer. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And as always guys, stay safe, brush your teeth, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. Have a good one, bye-bye.